The Matt Rule era at Nebraska is off to a rough start with losses to Minnesota and Colorado, paired with turnover issues by Georgia Tech transfer quarterback Jeff Sims. Sims has four interceptions and two fumbles in the Cornhuskers' first two games and is coming off an ankle injury that leaves his status up in the air for tonight's game against NIU. This may provide Heinrich Harburg a perfect opportunity to seize the moment and prove he could be the savior of Nebraska football. But before we get into this, if you enjoy college football content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm planning to release multiple videos a week this season. Also, let me know who you want me to cover in future videos in the comment section below. Heinrich Harburg was born on March 15, 2003 and grew up in Kearney, Nebraska. Heinrich is the son of former Nebraska walk-on fullback Rod Harburg, who played on the Cornhuskers teams of the early 1990s. Heinrich played high school football at Kearney Catholic High School, where he would be named the starting quarterback his sophomore year when he had a shoe size of 17. As a junior, he threw for 1,869 passing yards and 23 touchdowns while rushing for 458 yards and four touchdowns on the ground. He was named Honorable Mention All-State by both the World Herald and Journal Star. As a senior, Harburg completed 55% of his passes for 1,857 yards and 19 touchdowns, and according to Kearney Hub, he added 556 yards and 10 touchdowns on the ground, averaging 6.0 yards per carry. Due to his strong season, Heinrich was named the Hub Territory 11-Man Player of the Year, an Omaha World Herald second team, All-Nebraska honoree, and a Lincoln Journal Star second team Super State selection. He was named the 2020 Sports Illustrated All-American candidate as well. Throughout the season, he dealt with a media frenzy due to being one of the highest rated quarterbacks from the state of Nebraska in recent years and due to the Cornhusker season starting late because of COVID-19. 24-7 sports writer Brian Christofferson wrote earlier this week that media from throughout the state was trekking to watch Harburg play. He would have 8-10 to 10 reporters around him after his first Kearney Catholic game, with stories all coming from specific plays about his play. He took the game seriously, even traveling to Denver, working with a specific quarterback coach out in the Denver area. He also starred at the Nebraska Class C State Track and Field Championship as a sophomore, finishing second in the 200-meter dash and the 400-meter relay and third in the 100-meter dash and high jump. Coming out of high school, according to 24-7 Sports Composite, Heinrich Harburg was a three-star recruit who was the 41st best quarterback and 600th best player nationally. He received over 14 different Division I offers, likes of Boston College, NC State, Nebraska, and Vanderbilt, and a handful of Ivy League and MAC schools. When Nebraska decided to offer the hometown quarterback, he became the first quarterback to receive an offer from the Cornhuskers from the state of Nebraska in almost two decades. He would ultimately choose to commit to the Nebraska Cornhuskers after his junior season, telling Hale Varsity, Coach Frost and I have been talking probably once a week or so. We have a really cool relationship. He just asked to talk to me today. We talked and he said he wanted to go ahead and offer me. He'd wanted to see me throw in person. He didn't know when that opportunity would come, so he just decided to go ahead and trust his eyes and offer me. When Harburg signed with the Cornhuskers, he became the first in-state quarterback to do so since Mike McLaughlin in 2001. When Heinrich arrived to Lincoln, he was buried on the depth chart, serving as the fifth string quarterback behind a walk-on in both 2021 and 2022. He would redshirt during the 2021 season and did not see any action in 2022. He was not even on the traveling roster last year. Many wondered whether the in-state prodigy would decide to transfer or change positions going into the season. The Journal Star believed that had Scott Frost and his staff been retained, Harburg would be doing something else. Instead, Frost was fired and Matt Rule, as well as a brand new staff, was brought in to coach Nebraska. Rule liked Heinrich's skill set was able to talk him into staying with the program. Heinrich always wanted to ball and wanted to do anything he could do to help the team out. Rule staff immediately identified him as one of the team's better athletes, especially with his 4 6 40 speed. He had the intelligence and ability to play in multiple positions on the offense, making him a Taysom Hill-like player. Heinrich had a productive spring and seized the quarterback two position when Chuba Purdy got banged up. Offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield told the media, like Jeff, he's got super athletic traits of speed and agility, toughness and durability. He could hurt you running the football, he could hurt you running from you, he could run through you, or he could throw the football. He's got a lot of good football ahead of him and has had a good summer. 
Jeff Sims would be named the starting quarterback, but when he got hurt during the Colorado game last week, Huskers coaches liked the way Heinrich took the field at quarterback. He completed two of his six passes for 13 yards and a touchdown and ran two times for 17 yards. With Sims likely out for tonight's game against Northern Illinois, mixed with his turnover struggles, Heinrich has the opportunity to not just impress fans and the coaches, but show he could be the savior of Nebraska football. What do you think? How will Heinrich Harburg play tonight? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos YouTube thinks you will love right here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more college football content. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.